All right, so I had like a lot of work to do last couple of weeks. So I finally have some time to create some new stuff. And this is what we are going to create. So we're going to use this image here and transform it into this one. So this is really straightforward. You don't need any super Photoshop skills. You just need to follow along in this video and you will create the same stuff. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and like this video if you want to have more videos and more tutorials on Photoshop. Now before I start, everything I use is in the description of the video, so you might want to check that out before you go into Photoshop. So let's start off with creating a new file and we're going to go for 2160 by 2700. Usually I like to go bigger, but I think my MacBook is going to get real slow if I record everything, right? So let's start off with this one and take this photo and just drag it there, press enter. Now, the first thing we need to do is to change the lighting a bit. I want to have like this face a little bit more in the center and the bottom part is going to be like water reflections and stuff like that. So let's first start with adding some curves to make this dark first. This is what I always do. I like to make really dark kind of photo first and then I just use a brush and I can make areas lighter again. Right. So let's go here and just take a normal soft round brush, leave the opacity and flow at 100 and start with brushing a bit. So we're going to create lighting from the top here. So we need to make sure these areas are light. Let's also do the eye slider and a bit here, a bit there. Let's also do this side here and here just to get some more lighting on this tiger here, maybe a bit there. Uh, this part we're not going to use because I'm going to create water there. So let's just first make these parts light. And that's that's it for this one. Maybe a bit lighter here. All right. So the next thing to do is actually we only have like two dark spots left and right. So it's like just a little bit darker. Let's create a new layer. And this one I'm going to create a clipper mask and then fill this with 50% gray. And if I change the blend mode to offline, I won't see this layer anymore. I just see what I'm doing here with the with the tools. <laughs> so let's start with the the burn tool here. Let's go for highlights first and crank this all up to let's say 40, 50 maybe. I think 40 is too much, so let's do like 30. And let's make these parts a bit darker. Like that. And especially the background, I want to have it really look dark, so I'm gonna brush all this stuff here darker this part it doesn't matter because you won't see it later so just focus on these parts right there bit here like the bottom part of his chin and that's enough for this one and now if I switch to midtones and drop the exposure I can brush a bit more let's do a bit more here and now we get some nice dark areas and we have some nice highlights on his face. So this is pretty cool. Let's make it dark so we can see it better. All right, so we have, let's also do shadows just to be sure it's dark enough. We have these whiskers here, so I wanna make them actually a little bit lighter. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna drop the opacity of this, this brush here and select black, make them a bit lighter like that. So we can still see those, right? So you don't see like really black whiskers. You just want to have a little bit of white. I think this is even enough. All right, now we have this. Now I need some light at the top. So I'm going to create a new layer and just pick something like really light. Just make sure to bring the opacity all the way up again. And this is our light. This is just for reference, so I don't get confused where the lighting is gonna come from. Just like there. Right, so let's also do some brushing here again. So I'm gonna create a 50% gray layer again and this time I'm gonna use the touch tool. So actually it's the same process. Just a bit of a brushing and using the touch and burn tool to lighten up areas and make areas darker. So the touch tool here, let's make his eyes a bit lighter. And let's also brush a bit there, there, maybe a bit here. Let's not do this too much or else you will lose detail. So you need to be a bit careful 
with this dodge tool there and let's see the difference this is I think this is even enough maybe a bit more there all right so this is enough now I have need to change the color of this tiger because we created the really sort of night scene so I need to make sure he has a little bit less color just like that and this will make it even look more realistic okay now I have this little design really fast done so the next thing I would like to apply to this is just a reflection effect so I'm gonna create a new layer and press command alt shift E and then go to edit transform flip this vertical now let's get rid of the bottom part don't need this one and if I go to filter distort displace I can select the displacement file I will link this file in the description of the video in case you want to create this file it's just a water ripples placement file from another tutorial so you can just create that file and use it for all your projects and you can see how easy we created this really cool kind of water effect thing so the next thing to do is to create a mask here and do some brushing let's first do gradient brush press d on your keyboard so you have default colors and let's see how we're gonna brush this maybe somewhere let's put him a bit higher so we can see his face in the water so maybe something like this I think this will look pretty okay and now we can brush a bit more on the sides so I want to make sure this water goes a little bit behind him like there like he's standing in the water and not like the water is in front of him All right so just brush a bit around him like that and that's already enough and now you create this illusion that this tiger is like going through the water maybe you don't even need the lighting here but let's leave it for now I'm gonna put it a bit up so it don't messes with this image now let's do a bit more brushing here I can do a bit more there like the water is going underneath him and like that and that's already really easy kind of trick to create this sort of effect so the next thing I would do to this is really easy I don't want to mess with this I just want to do some little tricks that I always do at the end so I'm gonna save this as a PNG file and I'm gonna import this into Lightroom and where I apply one of my presets before I go back into Photoshop again all right so here I am in Lightroom and here I just drag my design that I just created import this then go to edit or whatever it's called in English I have a Dutch version so and here I can check which one I'm going to use so usually I use a couple of these this one is seven I think yeah seven is pretty cool for the colors so what I do is I select the circle and I move it around to make sure it's placed at the center of his face and that way just like that and if I go to export I can just export this as a file so I have one file created let me press ctrl z to go back and let's do another one this one is also one of my favorites because this changes the whole image and the only thing I do is I select this circle and I move it a bit around like that to make sure it's centered in the center and it doesn't get too dark so maybe we can adjust here a little bit more lightness like that and this one I also export and I want to make sure I use unique names so they don't overwrite each other right so we have two files now if I go back in Photoshop I can just take these two files place them above my design I have like two files the first one is pretty cool for color so what I do here is I change the blend mode to color this is pretty cool although it looks really different now so usually I try out different stuff here maybe leave it at normal and let's see the opacity and I only play with the opacity here so this is pretty cool maybe this one also and this one we can really draw because it makes this image really dark now so I have to check which one is the best here maybe put it to black so you can see it better I think something like this is pretty neat right so this is easy you can also try out different blend modes here soft light also works maybe soft lights even better here just like that all right the next thing to do is to create a new layer and command alt shift e to make a duplicated version of all the layers make a smart object they go to filter camera raw filter and here I do 
almost my final adjustment so yeah i need to set let me put the brightness of my screen a bit up so i can see this better so here i set the contrast play with the highlights here maybe a bit less shadows like that and make the blacks a bit lighter so it doesn't get too dark if you drop the texture make sure to increase the clarity so we don't lose the details all right so highlights here again i see some bluish in this image so i want to get rid of that blue and that is what i do in maybe a bit darker that is what i do in the color mixer so the blue one you can see this one if you go to saturation and we bring this down we can get rid of these blues i don't want these blues because i don't think a tiger needs to be blue and let's leave those let's see if we can do some more here let's not do vignette and here we can change the color a bit of this tiger maybe a bit more creative and that's pretty much it if i press ok you see the big difference before and after now the next thing i do is to add some color balance to make the colors right so let's give it a bit more red and a bit blue so we have a little bit of a cinematic effect now there is another thing that you could do to make this look a bit different and that is to add a tree strip and this one is really really a lot of colors so you might want to drop the opacity here a bit and that is pretty much it and this is how easy this actually is to create something really cool out of just a normal image you can also do a bit more lighting at the top here if you want but that's all on your own how you created this image so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope to see you in the next one